Okay, we back at the bees here. Uh, really grateful to have a couple of uh, swarms here at the house during the lockdown. At least getting to get into a bee suit and open up a couple of boxes. Um, right, I'm going to be checking today um, the virgin queens that we introduced um, 11 days ago. We're going to be checking them to see how many of them have successfully mated and um, they should be starting to lay now. Okay, I want to start off with this box just to give you some history on this. Well, this hive was out on one of our main apries. Um, it was in um, honey production, but um, I noticed uh, a couple of months ago already that um, they were superseding their queen, and so I um, let them supersede the queen and she started laying and um, just never really built this. Uh, swarm up properly you'll see in a minute they're still really small um, and I still wasn't happy with her um, just just her enthusiasm to build the swarm up so we um, got rid of her um, and we made them completely queenless um, about uh, two weeks ago now and I had a couple of uh, queens that were virgin queens that were hatching out in the incubator at the time so I brought them back here to the house and we introduced, um, as I mentioned earlier, this is one of the three that we introduced uh, Virgin Queens into 11 days ago. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna left them in this big hive um, because it's what they're familiar with. You'll be able to see where they're working and they've got an entrance here and they've got a little hole in the side there where they're working in. So I've left them as is just to try and get the... Um, just to get to the point where we've got the queen mated um, it's important for her to orientate herself and to be able to find her way in and out of the hive so I've left them just as is um, but what I'm going to be doing is um, if we've got the queen laying we know that she's comfortable inside the hive um, there's no need for her to be going out anywhere then we're going to be rehiving them into a five frame nook which I've got here which um, I'll be moving them into just to um, give them a little bit less space to try and keep uh, keep warm um, as we are approaching winter now our night temperatures are, are really starting to drop and I just want to be able to give the swarm a, a little bit more of a uh, fighting chance against the cold so let's, um, yeah, let's open them up and have a look what they look like You can see I left a frame out of here. It's actually the one standing against the wall here. The last time I worked them when I was putting the queen in. Um, again, what I normally do is I put the queen on the top here. So it's probably why I would have left a frame out. But also knowing that they are not occupying this whole hive anymore. So um, I wasn't running the risk of them building there. You'll see these are all old drawn combs um, that they did at one stage occupy. So the swarm has really gone backwards. I even had some foundation in here, which you can see they started to draw, they've drawn it partially there, and then they just really went backwards, and that's why I say they naturally started to requeen, but they still just didn't really um, get it right. Um, the queen that they had just wasn't building them up, and you can see them coming up now. They're, they're covering a good three frames, so it's enough bees. Um, let me try and get it over here so you can have a look. If you can see there, they, they are covering a good three frames. So having covering about three frames, they should, should be strong enough to actually get going, even in this hive, uh, especially through the summer, but they just haven't. So that's been my reason for just replacing this queen now. Um, Going to be just lifting frame by frame, looking for the queen. This is good to see. You can see the amount of syrup that they've got in here now, nectar. Um, I'm glad to see that, that I've been able to get that syrup in and, and onto them. Let's just pack these here for now. Again, I'm standing right in front of the hive. I'm even putting this frame right in the way here. But um, again, I'm just a bit limited with space here to be working them properly. 
Let's keep them down. Remember, like I've always said, I like to keep the bees down. Don't like them coming up. I'm looking for our queen and I'm also looking for eggs. I'm expecting closer to the middle of the nest to be finding eggs if she is laying yet. I can actually just leave this in here as well on the side. There's no need to have this out right now. Because I'm only going to move them over if I find the queen is laying. Um, she should well have mated by now. there's brood that's exactly what I want to see this is lovely I don't know if the camera will be able to see inside there but there's some young lava in there let's just try and angle it like this maybe you can see in there so there's a lovely little brood pattern here um, so I'm happy about that that means I'm going to move them over I just want to find our queen now so that I don't damage her in the process okay I don't see her on this frame so I'm gonna just put this frame back gently for now and I'm gonna just organize us a little bit better here so that we can so that we can transfer them into this um, nuke okay I'm gonna just shift this box over now and I'm gonna put the five frame nuke right about where this one was with its entrances sort of in line as i said they've got an entrance kind of on both sides of the box but i'm going to just try and center it as best as i can so for now i'm going to just shift this over So I'm only going to put the best looking frames and obviously the ones with the brood on. I'm going to discard this frame, it's just a little bit nectar. So I will just be removing this, it's a really badly built comb and I don't like it. Throw the bees in there, give them a frame to think about. This one is again has also not got brood on, it's got a little bit of pollen though. Um, it's got a really nice bit of pollen there. Um, so I would like to keep that frame for them and again we keep it the same way that the bees were building keep the nest the same way it was it's important especially on these smaller swarms as they develop a, a, a bundle around the brood to keep it warm so if you turn the frames around if I was to put this frame like this now you're splitting the brood nest so it's very important to keep them all together there's that good brood again nice brood in there really nice pattern it's lovely to see um, this queen is laying and there's already lava I would say there's already this lava is probably about three days old four days old so that's what I've said a few times is I normally start to look for a laying queen after about seven days I normally will find eggs at least so yeah I would say she was laying already good three four days ago okay that's the only frame of brood it looks like in here I haven't seen our queen yet so I'd really like to find her um, but this is just a bit of also a little bit of pollen in there starting to build a little bit here this is nice to see you notice they've no longer got any sealed brood all their brood is hatched um, they were a queen this about two weeks as I said before I, I even put the virgin queen in so all their brood is, is hatched now I'm just being very careful in this box as I move them over because our queen is not in there yet so I want to find our queen so we know we get her over Just rest this here so that those bees can run in. 
while we're looking for our queen. Yeah, she is sitting on the box, on the side of the box here, so because I know where she is, I'm happy to shake off all these bees inside the box now. Let's just make some space in yeah. Straight back to them. That's how you hold a queen, you hold her by her wings. Once she's mated, you don't have to be too concerned about uh, her wings, so you hold her by the wings, you put her in the box. Yeah, I've, I've dropped her down the side here now. I wanted to get her on the comb, but she, she dropped past. But she's in the box, so I'm happy about that. give them this frame with the foundation in here rather um, to get them to start to build straight for me okay I don't have another nice frame that I'm going to put in here so top and knock them out in the front. And they'll all run up and inside now. So you'll see them running up. They're all running along here, going into the box now. Okay, all the bees are gonna run up into the box here now. I'm just gonna close it so long and put their feeder back on. Okay, so they're now in their five frame nuke. They'll begin to learn where their new entrance is here. Um, they're right in the same place as where the other hive was, so they'll be able to um, to go in and out. I've put um, just some stoppers in, in two of the entrances here. I'll bring it closer and you can see. Okay, so as you can see what I've done here is I've just blocked off this side of the entrance and I've left them one small entrance there. And what I've done here, and the reason I've done it like this, is you'll see the box next to them has got... Um, white foam and they've got blue foam so they will get to know which box is theirs because I've used that foam okay so we finished up with this one now um, as I was explaining we've put um, I've just blocked the entrances here um, with uh, just with some sponge just to reduce the entrance um, they're not a very big swarms so they don't need a full um, entrance and also just helps keep um, Bit more of a colder colder air out so 
I mentioned that we've got the blue sponge in this one, which just helps them to also recognize which box is theirs compared to all the others, because I'm starting to get all, all the boxes looking the same here in a line. So I just wanted to get um, just, just a bit of a, a, a change in contrast. So I'm also noticing that we're getting a little bit of robbing going on here now. Um, I think it was just because I left some frames standing out here. So I'm actually going to resume this tomorrow. We'll be um, continuing um, with the next two um, nukes here that we'll be looking uh, to see if their queens are laying. I'm not going to open them now because as I say, they are small swarms. I don't want to make them vulnerable um, to this bit of a robbing that's going on. I'm going to have to work through it a little bit quicker tomorrow afternoon. I've taken a little bit long now trying to uh, demonstrate and explain what's going on. Alright, we'll catch up then. Cheers.